I got a crap ton of Star Wars news, our first look at the new Echo series, and Amber Heard comments on Aquaman 2. But before I get into all that, I'd be much obliged if you'd click the subscribe button and turn notifications on so I can keep you updated on the geekiest stuff every week, all week long. The best geek news. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian, and if you're a Star Wars fan, you're about to be a happy camper because it's not even Star Wars Celebration yet, but we have a ton of news. We'll see about that. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Kathleen Kennedy confirmed that Ryan Johnson is still on board to direct an upcoming Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> it sounds like it'll still be a while, though, because they are still waiting for Ryan to finish up with his Knives Out sequels. However, this is still a big deal because a lot of people had assumed that Ryan was quietly removed from the project after the backlash of The Last Jedi, but this is confirmation that that's not the case. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for a Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy or not. I have no opinion. In the same interview, Kathleen Kennedy also commented on the underwhelming performance of Solo, claiming that she's learned that it's not as simple as casting younger actors in the roles of the OG, as if Solo was Alden Ehrenreich's fault. It wasn't all bad, was it? It just seems like a weird thing to say when Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen are literally about to reprise younger versions of the OG characters. That's a good point. One more Star Wars tidbit. It was revealed today that Spider-Man No Way Home director John Watts is developing a new Star Wars series. While we don't know much yet about the project, we do know that it'll be a coming-of-age tale set before the rise of the First Order, and it's being patterned after the Amblin films of the 1980s and will center on four preteens growing up after the fall of the Empire. So basically, think Star Wars meets the Goonies and Soul. <laughs> And now, the final uh, uh, to this game. Baby. Uh, Earlier this week, Amber Heard testified that her role as Mera in Aquaman 2 has drastically been cut back due to the ongoing controversy between herself and Johnny Depp. In fact, she claims that Warner Brothers wanted to cut her out of the movie entirely, but that she, quote, fought really hard to stay in the movie. F Aquaman. No, man. Don't say that, why say that? It was just announced today that 20th Century Studios is working on a reboot for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. No, that's okay. Marvel's Echo series has been in production in and around Atlanta for the better part of a month, and today Marvel Studios unveiled the first look at the series, and as you can see, it's Echo. Hey, I know her, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping that the Echo series was secretly Daredevil season four, but I guess not. I'm sorry. After breaking records with his first Netflix movie, Extraction, Chris Hemsworth is at it again with Spiderhead, which also stars Miles Teller and Journey Smollett. The trailer dropped today and I have no idea what it's actually about, but I'm into it. I'm highly fascinated by Hemi playing what seems like a not so nice guy and I am all about Miles Teller having the best summer ever. Spiderhead is set to arrive on Netflix on June 17th. So close. In wrestling news. Wrestling's not fake! Sasha Banks and Naomi appear to have legitimately walked out last night on Monday Night Raw after being upset over their storylines and how they were each being utilized as tag team champions. WWE even went so far as to release a statement over the matter, and by all accounts, this doesn't seem to be a work, but there's a little part of me that feels like it might be a work. I don't trust anyone or anything. Reviews are now hitting the internet for Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which is coming to Disney Plus this Friday. Comicbook.com's own Charlie Ridgely had a chance to watch it earlier and gave it four out of five stars, saying that Chippendale utilizes nostalgia as a force for good while also being a thorough and relentless examination of modern reboots in Hollywood. Also, you're going to want to avoid spoilers because there are a ton of surprises in this movie, so this will be the last I speak of it until I've watched it. I don't want to hear another word about it. And that's that for Tuesday. You guys do me a favor and leave a comment because it does help. Make sure you turn on notifications because I am going to, guess what, be back tomorrow. All of the stories in this video came from articles written on comicbook.com, so if you'd like to read more about some of today's news with your very own eyeballs, feel free to head over to comicbook.com where we work 24-7 to keep you all up to speed on the latest news. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and more, all of which are linked below. If you're someone who likes listening to other people argue for hours on end about this sort of stuff, we've got you covered there as well with Comic Book Nation, hosted by Kofi Outlaw every Friday, or our Marvel-focused podcast hosted by my best friend of me, Brandon Davis, on Wednesdays. If you want some behind-the-scenes antics or previews of my cosplay, or you want to know what it's like to live on a spaceship for months at a time, Time with no genuine human interaction. Find me on Instagram at CK Comedy or Twitter at Chris Killian, all links below. Once again, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far into the video. That's great. I can't believe you made it. See you tomorrow.